Hey guys, this is Rodeska and I'm coming to you with a video tutorial for how to do average weight normals inside of Cinema 4D. Um, this will be going over uh, how to use the new Vertex tools. So if you don't know what those are, it's basically these tools right here. Um, so basically you can grab this tool. It's the Vertex Normal Plugin tool for Cinema 4D. I'll be leaving that in the description below and this will allow you to get uh, this shading right here inside of Cinema 4D. Um, I have noticed that it's a little bit off inside of Cinema 4D um, as opposed to other software. Um, it's probably because of the shading itself uh, that they're using inside of Cinema 4D. Not, not any kind of problems with the tool, but maybe it's a problem with the type of normals that they're using inside of Cinema 4D. I don't know. Um, but I have noticed, again, that the shading is a little bit off. So as you can see, this one over here is from uh, Houdini. So if we open up Houdini... Um, you can see how different it is inside of Houdini as opposed to Cinema 4D. The fall off and the lighting hitting the surface is a little bit better as well as the um, silhouette normals. They're a little bit better um, as opposed to here. You can see there's a little bit of twisting involved in the shading. Um, and that's due to the tries being split through the polygons. Um, so if we go to the shading mode, every single polygon has a invisible edge through it, which is splitting the polygons. And unfortunately, there's no way that we can actually stop that from happening inside of here. Um, I think that this is probably the best results that you're going to get inside of here, especially if you're doing mid-poly modeling. Um, because as you can see, as I, get, as I pull further away, you can notice just a little bit of artifacting right here in the polygon and the silhouette uh, with twisting. It's not, again, it's not something that the tool um, is doing. It's something that the shading inside of Cinema 4D uh, is doing. But again, this is the best results that I could find um, in Cinema 4D uh, as opposed to just making it high poly. And, you know, if this is what you're going for mid poly, then this is probably the best you're going to get inside of Cinema. So uh, sorry about that. But again, these tools make it a little bit better and a little bit easier to make average weighted normals. I just had to say that. So let's uh, get to the uh, actual tutorial. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a um, box and I'm going to show you how to do this with cylinders as well because it's a little bit confusing. Um, and then we're going to hit C to make that edible and we're just going to move that over here. And then I'm going to hit tab. Uh, there is a tutorial on how to switch your component mode using tab. Um, I'll also leave a link down in the description of how you can do that. But it's a pretty, it's a pretty good tutorial for those who are beginning um, Cinema 4D and they want to kind of learn how to model instead of Cinema 4D. Um, and I'm also going to hit space. Uh, space, if you don't know, it kind of drops your active tool and it kind of goes back and forth between your previous tool and your next tool that you're using. So that's a little bit of a handy thing. And I usually put that on selection and then um, then I can go back to the other tool that I was using. So uh, there's that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to uh, in, uh, excuse me, um, MS to go into bevel mode. And we're just going to bevel this slightly just to give it a nice little fall off. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our uh, selection and we're going to choose face selection. Uh, let's actually go to live selection and do this. I think it'd be easier. And we're just going to select all of these beveled faces, right? So we're going to go to our beveled faces and we're just going to select these. Every single one. This is a little bit tedious um, as opposed to other software where you just have to hit a button and it automatically calculates it for you. Um, but I don't know if you don't mind just going in here and kind of selecting all these, then it's no problem. Even in the documentation, uh, this is what it says to do. So if we go to Alt Tab, uh, we go back here. There's actually a little bit of a kind of steps that you need to take. Uh, with a little bit of a demonstration. So it says to select the vertices first, but um, the fastest way that I've seen is just to select the faces and then convert it to vertices. So we're gonna go from polygons to points. And if you don't know how to pull up this menu, just go to uh, UX. 
uh, u x. And since we already have it popped up, it's going to be right here. But just go u, and as you can see in the menu, and you go and take a look at x, it says convert selection. You're just going to bring that up, and you're just going to go from polygons to points, and you're going to hit convert. Um, and that's going to convert it. I think also if you hold alt on these, it'll also do the same thing. So there's that. Um, okay, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit V if you've already installed the plugin. It's going to be here, um, and you can just you know bring this up as an active tool, or you can hit V, which I find faster. Go to extensions and then go to normal tool. Click on it once to kind of activate it. Don't move it around because that's going to edit the normals. Just click, um, just click once in the viewport. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to harden these normals. So you're going to go harden, and that's going to basically split up all the normals. As you can see, for every uh, face, I think there's going to be like one normal or whatever. Um, yeah, however that works. I don't know. Mumbo jumbo. All right. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select all of the faces again. So we've already got these selected. Um, but if you don't have these selected in this tool, it also allows you to select. So if you go and you cycle through tab, you can actually sit there and you can select inside of here. All right. So we're going to select all these faces yet again if you accidentally unselected them. If you didn't, then you should already still have them selected. And you're going to want to go down to um, snap selected. OK, uh, when you're selecting polygons, so let's say you accidentally deselected the polygons, you need to turn on this. Use polygon point inclusive selection mode. If you don't um, if you don't turn that on, you can see that the points that are not associated with these faces are going to be selected as well. So you want to only select the points that are associated with these faces. All right. And then what you're going to want to do uh, after you've turned this on and you've selected your faces, you're going to want to go to. Uh, snap selected unselected and then what this is going to do is essentially what it's going to do is it's going to soften all of these all of the model up again and it's going to average those out so if you don't know what I'm talking about basically if we add another cube in here okay we're going to move this over and then we're going to um, sorry brain fart see um, make sure we have this uh, ms okay then we're going to go back to our vertex tool and we're just going to soften all of these up okay so as you can see when we soften all of these up you can see all of these are all averaged but the problem with these are these vertex is that if we were to go to this one you can see the difference in the angle. They're all straight away from the faces, uh, except for these ones. So what it's doing is it's averaging these vertex towards these near larger faces, which is giving that nice gradient fall off. And if anybody can actually produce a tool that does this in one click, it would be amazing. And I really hope that the vertex normal tools, at least they update their tools to where it's just one click and done. Um, that would be fantastic. But what it's doing essentially is it's taking these vertex normals and averaging them towards the largest face, if I got that right. And since uh, these are the largest faces, they're going to average the vertex normal towards these ones and then kind of, you know, average them very nicely in a 90 degree angle um, all over. And that's going to give you your face weighted normals. Okay. So again, in order to do this with a cylinder, you're going to pretty much do the same thing. You're going to, um, we're going to drag this over. We're going to put it here, C, to make it editable. We're going to select the edges that we want to bevel. We're going to hit MS. We're going to bevel that slightly, and we're going to hit Alt. Uh, wow, that did not convert it over. Interesting. Um, so, yeah, that was weird. But, anyways... I'm trying to remember how to do um, what you might call it the loop selection actually let's just do I think UL for loop selection here yeah let's just do ML for loop selection that's a little bit faster um, but you won't have that same option if you're doing more complex models so yeah um, all right then what we're gonna do is again we're gonna hold alt why is that not doing that interesting 
Maybe there's a different way to convert it. Anyways, um, let's just do polygon to point again. All right. And then what we can do is we can go into V, go into our extensions, normals. Again, harden these up. Click once, harden those up. Uh, just click it once. You don't need to click it twice. Then we're going to go again to points to polygons, convert that. And then we can go and make sure that our um, point selection is active, snap, and boom. One and done. Okay, It's the same with everything. And you notice how I didn't harden these edges. I just left it at their default. Um, that's essentially what I am... That's what you're going to do every time you add another one. Again, I can show you that with a tube or this kind of thing. Um, open tube or whatever you want to call it. Okay. And we're going to make it editable. Click the edges. Okay. Click on that. Convert edges to polygons. Actually, polygons to points, my bad. Um, convert and then V this is this is very tedious but this is the only way that that tool says to um, do it all right so again converting the points to polygons make sure that this is turned on average and then there you go and of course I didn't bevel this one but yeah that's essentially all you do all right uh, so thank you so much again for watching. Look for all the links down below. If you have any questions, please ask. But essentially, this is how you get your weighted normals inside of Cinema 4D. All right. Take care, guys.